On this episode of Inside Pure Cycle, we're visiting our state-of-the-art research and development lab in Durham, North Carolina, and introducing you to the amazing team members who work there and the projects they're focused on. I'm Michael Weber. I'm the Vice President of Technology, and uh, I'm uh, basically over all of our lab scale and pilot plant testing and uh, consulting on all of our technology improvements and optimizations. But with the commissioning of the lab, the big thing is to have the tools to follow up on ideas right at your back doors. And anytime we have a process improvement in the big plant, we'd like to be able to test it on the lab first. And if you don't have the instrument or the piece of equipment you use to test the theory that you had, sometimes those ideas just die on the vine. So it's really good to be able to test those things. I think it's absolutely critical. So this is kind of the, the first section of our lab where we're focused on analytical analysis of the plastics. So we have a lot of standard analytical techniques to measure things like the plastic composition, the plastic viscosity, how well it flows, the solids content in the plastic. And uh, these are standard analytical pieces of equipment, but in a lot of times we're using them in a novel way. We develop some of our own techniques to characterize the, what we need to learn specifically for recycled plastic feed. We also use it to analyze our product to understand how the feedstock quality maps to the product quality. Uh, we also use this part of the lab to look at our co-products, our co-product one and our co-product two. So uh, there's a lot of standard analytical pieces of equipment here that we're using in not standard ways to apply to recycled plastic. My name is Twinkle Patel and I am a polymer chemist here at Pure Cycle. I've been here for over seven months, and what I do is basically testing all the feedstocks and products that come from our process. We do a lot of characterizations using uh, the different analytical techniques that we have here. We have to interact with the team in Ironton to be able to know what they need from us, the problems they're having, and then we come together as a team here at the research center, uh, figure out a way how we can assist Ironton. Also, we've made some discoveries that's gonna alter the way um, other future plants will be built. So my name is Leo Rosso and I'm a polymer analytical technician. And my day-to-day -day usually involves feedstock characterization as well as product characterization. I enjoy that we really get to see the impact that our work here at the lab does at the plant when it comes from our main recycled product or CP1 and CP2. The data we give back to the plant really impact the process that's going on there. And I feel that it's really important what we do. This is what I'll call the customer support part of our lab. So we talked about how we have a portion of our lab that can analyze the feed and product properties, but this is where we can actually reproduce some of the forms that our plastic would be used in by the customer. So we have a, uh, an extruder line here that can either just blend plastic into pellets. It can also press plastic into a thin film. We also have a blown film line, which is another way to make film where we're actually blowing the plastic into a bubble. So, uh, for very specialized applications like film, this gives us the opportunity to see how our recycled material will perform compared to other applications. So we're able to gather data on some of these fundamental properties that our customers care about and also actually press it into the form that they might use in their application. As you, as you can imagine, some applications are more difficult than others to get into. So being able to press into something like a film where color and clarity and limited impurities is very, very important. Uh, it's good to be able to demonstrate that to our customer or if they have problems to be able to bring our resin back to the lab and be able to figure out a way to solve their problem with the equipment that we have. My name is Robert Leifi and I am uh, the Director of Product Development. And what we really do here is provide solutions to different customer questions. One of the things which we're working on now is taking our uh, general purpose polymer and try to make it fit for the fiber industry. It's very challenging because the fiber industry has a lot of demands. Most companies, startup companies, don't have what we have here. So it's not common. So they rely on a third party lab, which will take time. But here with the talent that we have, equipment that we have, we're able to provide answer quickly and correctly. 
The unit that I have behind me is actually a small scale version of our purification process. So we do everything at the large scale system in Ironton here on a very small scale, which allows us to test new feedstocks. If there's limits to what we can learn in the other section of the lab where we're uh, characterizing the plastic, this allows us to actually execute the purification process and see how the material comes out. Uh, it also allows us to help troubleshoot and improve on some of the aspects of the actual commercial process. Anytime that you can learn something about the process without going to the large scale, it's advantageous to do that. Basically, if you want to make a change, you'd like to do that on the smallest process you can and still feel like that change will translate to the larger scale process. So it allows us to make changes very quickly and very inexpensively, which helps foster innovation because as an idea comes up, you can actually test it rather than uh, have to go through a long process before you can actually see if your idea works. My name is Joseph Sarver. I'm the Research Center Manager here at the PureCycle Research and Development Center in Durham, North Carolina. So whenever you scale up any technology, there's always gonna be learnings and going from, as we've done a PureCycle uh, benchtop scale in a lab to pilot scale at the FEU and now commercial scale on Iron 10, there's different learnings and questions that have come out of that process that here uh, in our lab, we've worked to address with different types of capabilities that we've been developing whether that's understanding viscosity or understanding how different feedstocks may impact our process or understanding different operating conditions that we may explore. All of that we've been able to kind of bring in house here to further those discovery efforts. And we're getting a lot of really interesting data. Some of it um, I just think has been really impactful in how we understand the co-products in our process and how we understand our product itself. What's been amazing about working with this group of people is so far we haven't come across anything that we don't think we can do. So I'm a chemical engineer and Leo and Twinkle are both chemists. So they bring a completely different perspective into analytical work that maybe I didn't appreciate. And then, so I have some of the process background from my time in Ironton and from my chemical engineering degree that we've been kind of able to exchange and learn each other's strengths. Um, it's good to have a variety of perspectives on any problem. So like we've got myself that has like an engineering background, Raba comes from a material science background. Um, so we, we spend a lot of time teaching each other different things, uh, but sometimes you get ingrained in a certain way of thinking and it's good to have, it's, it's good for you to explain it to somebody else. So you rethink the way that the, well, your, your understanding of a certain process. And it's also good to have somebody come in and approach a problem that may not be unlike any other homework or research problem they've had to work on in their career and they come at it from a different perspective.